I love hydrangeas. So do insects, especially pollinators. They go on there, they get the little pollen, pollen on their little legs and stuff, and they fly to another, and that's how pollination happens, kids. And I've got uh, Andy Kloss joining John us. Will you? Thanks, Margie. i got Andy Kloss joining me. He's the general manager at Joe's Market Basket. Four locations. We'll show those to you in a moment. But uh, we're, we're getting to the end of Pollinators Week. We are. Actually, Pollinators Week was last week, June 19th through 25th, but we still want to talk about it because it's so very, very important about pollinators. Yeah, kind of late, really, to start planting seeds and getting things, but you've got stuff at the market, Joe's Market, that already is growing and you can plant it and before you know it you got butterflies and all kinds of beautiful things showing up in your backyard. That's absolutely correct. So you know like, like you said we got all the perennials you know pollinators you know what are pollinators you know like you said bees, butterflies, hummingbirds you know they're all attracted to the, to the flower itself. What they do is you know they come in they get the pollen on their on their little wings or little little fingers and then they go and pollinate the other uh, the other plants. The, the one thing that they do is why we are encouraging people to plant perennials is these are their actual food source for the pollinators. Okay. So what they do is they come in, feed on the nectar, and that's what feeds them. So that's why pollinators are so important, and that's why we need to plant more pollinator attracting perennials to attract them into our yard. Especially if you like honey, like you've got your honeybees. Absolutely. And if you, if you uh, ingest honey from your location, it is. It basically keeps you from getting a lot of viruses and whatnot. You are correct so on that. You have an empty pot here. We do. There's some dirt in there. What's the deal with that, so what, Andy? What we're going to do here, we're going to act like this pot's going to act in the ground as the ground because you need to plant your perennials into the ground for them to come back next year. Okay. Again, perennials come back every year as long as they're planted in the unlike ground. Unlike annuals, they're just unlike like annuals. Gone. So let's say we take this out of the pot. Okay. Maybe. Possibly. And you, you did it. And you see how all these roots are, are it's, it's called root bound is what it's called. Now do you break that up? You do. And actually the best way to do it is, believe it or not, just take a little box cutter and just cut those roots just like I that. You could use that too. Yeah, you could use that too. And then that way the roots kind of get out there and kind of do their thing. Mm -hmm. Plant it in. We'll put more dirt around it. Okay. And, and so forth. Fill it all the way up to the top. And then you want to you do a little bit of root stimulator, which we have here, and add that to water. So it's a little bit more involved than just taking it out of the pot, putting it right in the ground. But the biggest thing is loosening those roots like you said. Now, if you put it in a pot like that, and uh, I know it's going to come up again next year, what if I bring it inside the house? Well, will I mean, it survive or will it just kind of get kind of gangly and ugly looking? It's going to get gangly and ugly, and really, perennials need the, the natural winter so they die off. Right. So, so then they can come back. So you don't want to do so you that. You really don't want to. So if you want to plant it in a, in a pot for the summertime, so you have that nice summer color on your deck or your patio, do that. But then transplant it come a, a late uh, summer or early fall. And if you're trying to attract a specific type of, say, a hummingbird or a butterfly, you can help people with that. Sure, absolutely. And we've got uh, the four locations. Let me see if I can find that. Yes, here, put it up on the screen. It's Joe's Market Basket, four Metro East locations, Edwardsville, Godfrey, O'Fallon, and Troy, Illinois. And if you want to look it up on the internet, you can do that, joesmarketbasket.com. We met uh, Andy when we were in Troy in your neighborhood, and uh, so we thought you'd come back, and you did. Thank I you so much. Appreciate you having us. We're going to take a little break, and we will be right back after this.